Morning, fellow adoptees, it's Sergeant Cherry. We're on Chapter 7 this week, and the title is, I am terrified of rejection. I look at life through a lens of rejection. But don't tell anybody. We don't want anybody to know that, so we put on a strong mask of perfectionism, right? We've already dealt with that in the chapter before. But can you imagine Moses, how he felt when God Almighty came to him and said that he had a purpose for his life. I mean, we adoptees, we would almost all agree that we feel like our lives are a mistake. And then God comes to us. We've, we've worked through that. So God comes to us and says, Hey, precious daughter, precious son, I have a life purpose for you that nobody else can fill. Oh, how exciting that is, but it's so scary. One of our members this week is possibly going to be speaking for fellow adoptees in a very public governmental setting. And she has just done all her work with all of us, and I'm so proud of her. She's going to be speaking for us. And she's beginning to live out her life purpose. Isn't that exciting? I'm so proud of all of you, by the way. But think about your own life. And I'll think about mine. And the way that we tend to read rejection into everything, don't we? We call a friend. They don't return our call. We make a lunch date with a friend. We forget to go. Or they forget to show up. And we feel rejected. Uh, we're in a group, and the group list is handed out, and our name isn't on it. What's our first thought? Rejection. Yes, it's rejection. And it goes right back to that original trauma of when we lost our first family. Now, do we have to stay in that for the rest of our lives? No, we don't. That's the good news. We can learn to recognize rejection and how our thinking has been in, infiltrated with it. I mean, just think about when you go to a movie, like a 3D movie, and you have to put on the glasses. That's how we, our glasses spell rejection. We have to learn when we see rejection to take the glasses off and see it for what it is. And realize that we're having a quote adoptee moment and that we can make a choice to not feel rejected and to remember who we are in God's eyes. That's the most important thing, fellow adoptees. Remember, we're jewels, we're chosen by Him. And He's gone to great extent to save our lives, more so maybe than other people. I mean, some of us have really got stories to tell. So work through this chapter this week. Think of times when you felt rejected. And then remember the cross. Uh, in our small group, we use the, the letters RTC for remember the cross. Remember it is finished. Jesus said it is finished. We belong to him. We have a life purpose from him. But some of us may be like Moses, walking up to that burning bush with our knees trembling and scared to death. But we can get over that. I remember when Jewel Among Jewels started and Jody Maureen and I were talking about the possibilities. We were terrified. I mean, go on television? Oh, no, I'd never do that. Or uh, go on a radio program or write or whatever? Oh, no, couldn't do that. But you know what? I am just standing on tiptoes to see what God is up to in each one of your lives. So work on this chapter really hard, folks, because, not folks, friends, because I know that this is going to make, like the last chapters have, a tremendous change in your life. Um, you have come miles and miles, but now it's time for more push-ups. Get the feelings out. Describe rejection. Tell me some situations where you have felt rejection. And then tell me, tell us, how you would do it differently. So, to you fellow adoptees, totally, totally loved by God, 
Never, nothing can separate you from the love of God. I send you my love, and I just encourage you as Sergeant Jerry to keep up the good work because you're doing great.